Okay, and then we have our other little one. Okay, and our other little one is UTR. UTR, and it equals what? 44. Okay, so the other day, every time you saw the grades, you thought, oh, let me put that for my big one, right? Um, today, the only difference is um, we have X's on both sides. Okay, so I got a 9 plus a 14X plus 44 equals 19X plus 8. Okay, so I got to get all my X's to one side mm -hmm. and all my numbers to the other side. Okay, so um, however you guys want to do this is up to you. So some people just move one number at a time. Okay, some people combine first and then move this stuff over. Um, so that's up to you. Um, and it kind of sucks because if I do it one way, then I don't want to discourage you from doing it your way, if that makes any sense. Okay, so what should we do first? Um, um, we, um, you want to combine like terms. Okay, so let's look at this side. What can we combine? Kind of, we can combine the 9 and the 14. 44 on this side. So what is 9 and a 44? Uh, let me look it up. 53 plus 14x equals 19x plus 8. Okay, so, and this is where I kind of go a little bit slower than some of you guys. Um, so, we learned last week that letters go where? On the left. Letters go on the left, okay, and numbers go on the right. So, does this have a letter, 53? No. No, so where does it go? The right. It goes on the right. That means we need to move it over. So, how do I move a plus 53? <laughs> minus, 53. minus 53. And which one of these numbers do I need to put it under over here? Eight. Under eight. the 8 because it's got no letters. So minus 53. Let me look it up. So it's 8 minus 53, you said? Mm-hmm. I got a negative 45. Somebody agree? You guys have a calculator, I know. What's negative 8 minus 53? Is it negative 45? Okay, well, there we go. Yep, so now let's look at our, what we got now. So I got a 14x equals 19x minus 45. Okay, so let's just look through it one by one. Is this a letter or a number, 14x? It's a letter, has a letter in it. So where do letters go? Letters left. On the left. Okay, so now we hit our equal sign. So we're on the right side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it 19x? Is that a letter or a number? It's a letter, so it goes on the left. It's a letter and it goes on the left. So how do I move a plus 19? We have to minus 19. Minus 19x. Minus 19x. And the 19s cancel. These 19s cancel. So I got 14 minus 19 x to give me what? Negative 5x equals negative 45. Okay, do you only have letters on the left now? And then do you only have numbers on the right? So yeah, everything looks good. So what's our last step always? We have to divide. Divide, okay? So division is always gonna be our last step. So divide by negative five, divide by negative five. So X equals nine. I did that in my head, I'm sorry. Okay, and then go to number four.
Okay, number four, same thing. So, what's our general rule? Little plus little equals big. Okay, so all right, I'm just gonna put L plus another L equals B. Equals B. Okay, and then let's start looking through. So it says FED equals 34x minus 3. Is FED a little one or a big one? Little. It's a big one. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this one blue. So I got FED, so I can put that down here. FED. And what did I say it equals? 34. 34x minus 3. Okay, AED, is that a little one or a big one? Little. It's a little one, so AED is 17x plus 2. And the letters go on the left and the numbers go on the right, just when you're doing math, try not to put up a fight. Yep. So, and then the next one says FEA equals 80 degrees. Is that a little one or a big one? It's a little one. So I got FEA is 80. So you need to combine like terms. They're not going to be perfect steps because they're just not. Okay, um, so we can combine like terms. So I got 80 plus 17x plus 2 equals 34x minus 3. You can do the plus 2 and the, no. Mm-hmm, the plus 2 and the what else? Minus 3. Uh, close. No, wait, and the? And the 80. Mm -hmm. And that equals 82. Perfect. So 82 plus 17x equals 34x minus 3. Okay, so we combine our like terms. What would our next step be? Okay, yeah, so we're going to move. Uh, we'll say numbers to the right. Letters to the left. Okay, and what's our last step always? Divide. Divide, perfect. Okay, so is 82 a letter or a number? Letter. 82. I mean, number. Number, letter. perfect. Sorry, so we're going to subtract 82. And where does it go under on the other side? The 34x or the minus 3? Minus the minus 3, so minus 82. So, so do I type in 3 minus 82? Negative 3 minus 82. So now I got 17x equals 34 minus 85. So did we move all of our numbers to the right? Yeah. Okay, so now move the letters to the left. Okay, so what letters do we have over here that need to be moved? X. The 34x. So how do I move a 34x? We minus 34. Minus 34x. Minus 34x. And those two 34s cancel each other. So what is 17 minus 34? Let me push it in. Negative 17. Okay, then what's our last step always? Divide. Divide. Something don't feel right, but maybe it is. What is negative 85 divided by negative 17? 
Positive five? Okay. So on all of these, if you get a fraction or a decimal or an ungodly large number, I would say over anything, I don't want to say 20, but I want to say around 20. So if you get anything over 20, a decimal or a fraction, you need to go back and recheck some of your steps. Okay, and if you were gonna recheck the steps, these are the steps that I would be rechecking because chances are that you're probably got some addition or subtraction wrong somewhere, okay? So if you get a decimal, a fraction, or a really large number, somebody at the door? Yeah. Um, then, <laughs> Sorry. did you find it? Okay, so when I started to look at this, I was like, 85 and 17, that doesn't look good, okay? And it came out to in a whole number. So I knew, like, chances are my work is probably right. If it would have came out to a decimal, then I'd say, oh, okay, that's not right. Okay, you should not get a decimal. You should not get a fraction. You shouldn't get, like, 125, okay? Because then when you plug it back into X, which you'll eventually see, it's not going to be an actual angle. It's going to be, like... A circle or something like way too much okay because the angles only go up to 180 degrees okay what's a 180 degree angle 